Right, what's up guys welcome back we're gonna be doing another install today uh, i know it, it kind of feels like i'm doing installs back to back and i've only had the car for about a little over three months now and so i'm actually moving along pretty quickly with some of the modifications but i mean if i got the money i'm gonna buy the shit so i can put it on and have the car how i want it to uh this one should be pretty simple though uh we're gonna be changing up the taillights these are the ugly stock babies ended up picking up the shit. There's a thousand packages and shit like this. Boom. Bring it out in the light. So. Boom. I think these are the... They said OLM, but I think they're Valenti. Spec D whatever bullshit that is. I, I don't fucking know. They're just tinted taillights. And I can't remember if they're actual sequentials or not. So I don't know if a like turn signal blinker hazard light is just a single bar if it's boop 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 boop. Kind of like the Mustang type style. I don't know what it is. I can't remember. Dylan's on his way over right now. He's actually gonna chill with me and help me install these. These shouldn't be too bad. They should just be like a little 30 minute thing. And I've already looked in the trunk. I just have to remove the um, carpet lining and stuff like that. And you can see the four little uh, studs that have the bolts on them that are holding those in. So I just have to unclip the OEM ones, take the bolts uh, or take the nuts off the bolts, and then pull these out, put the new ones in, make sure everything's hooked up properly, bolted in together, try them all on it. It shouldn't take that long, but you know how it is with us. It'll always take three hours when it really, when it should really take 30 minutes, but oh well, we'll just wait for Dylan to get here and then we can get right into it. Yeah, just a barely bit, but no scrapey, no rub. This shouldn't be too, why is it locked? Yeah, I like how you have to do that rather than actually unlocking the car. Those are mine. So this shouldn't be too bad. All we gotta do is remove this carpeting and then take the nuts off the back of these, unhook them, and they should just slide out. That's how it should work. My only thing is, I don't know, I gotta use like a little flathead, I guess, to pry that out. I gotta use them moosels. Okay. How well can I see this? All right, Ugh. this ugly ass thing stuck back there on this bolt. This one here, got it all unplugged. I just need to take these little nuts off and then it'll just pop right out it looks like. I gotta figure out what size those are. Okay. Got all the bolts out back here. So last thing to do is just pull it out. Ready? Hey! hey. Drift car! <laughs> Drift status, baby! That wasn't hard, it was just shitty that I didn't have the smallest wrench. Alright. Stock, not stock. Putting it in. Looks good. Yeah, it definitely looks very good. You gotta line it up better, but this one, if you guess, you bolt it in. That's fully lined up in the holes. Yeah, it's brother. And now, you gotta tighten it up. You got major gaps. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you just gotta tighten it. Yeah. It's not gonna sit perfect. Yeah, they're Valentis, just... but I don't remember what they were called. Oh, no, you already took the plastic on the outside off. Oh, that's gay. All right, let's fucking do it. Oh, that looks sick. 
Oh, it actually does. <laughs> That's hard. You gotta see how at night, though. That's gonna be so badass. Uh -huh. I need headlights now. <laughs> Dude, I don't want the headlights for a long car. They look so sick. That really is hard. Never pedal on the left, right? Yeah. So that's the actual brake light and the other one's just running. Okay, that's cool. And then blinker or hazards. Dude, that's so badass. <laughs> First tail light in, it's all good. Second one going in, gotta rip the carpet out. I actually have one of the <laughs> I actually have one of the clips back here. I was missing this one over here. I got that one, that one, that one. So I just got to take out those three. Oh, is there one back there too? Do I have one over here? Okay, I did. Yeah, I just got to take out these three. Maybe just these two. I don't know. And then I'll be able to reach it. Uh, this is just going to be boring shit. So I'm just going to speed this up so you guys don't have to watch it. I'm not going to talk about anything because it's just boring. Sounds good. Finished up both of the taillights now. They look super awesome. I'm so pumped with how they turned out. And it only took me probably like 30, 45 minutes to install them. Not too bad at all. But let me go ahead and show you what they look like with the hazard on. And they actually are sequential. I kind of forgot that I got those. That's that. Put it into auxiliary. This is the running light that's on at all times. It looks so sick. Oh, this is gonna be so cool. Blinker on. But like I said, I'm super excited with how they turned out. And I just need to get my damn wheels on. That's the only thing that's left. Is get the wheels on, tires mounted, and I'll be good. After that, I don't know what the next mod is. Um, I've been looking into like a carbon fiber trunk, possibly. Um, or maybe start doing some interior stuff. Like a carbon fiber steering wheel, or I might just go full send and hot boy it and get a vertex or something like that. But I've also wanted, so like my interior plans that I kind of want to start looking into soon are the bride seats. Not entirely sure which ones I want to do yet, but I want to get either brides um, or status, one of those two. Get harnesses. The Night Runner and Williams partnership that they did for harnesses, dope as fuck, but they were like 450 for one harness and they're rare as fuck. Oh my god, those are my dream harnesses, but I doubt I'm ever going to be able to find those. So I need those seats and then a half cage and we'll be good to go. That's what I want to start looking at doing next. Um, once everything's all put together on the outside and it looks good, I can move to the inside on stuff that I see every day. Hopefully we'll be looking at that in the future.